Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths, I'm Menti, and this is episode 102 of the Battleship Brawl Season 4 Tournament. In this episode, we've got the Johnny Gypia by myself, going up against the St. Augustine by Shieldmate. Whoever wins this match will be moving on to uh, <clears throat> battle in the Grand Finals. This is for the last slot, so let's go ahead and get this underway and see who that's going to be. St. Augustine gets his first volley off. Donnie answering with a volley or two of its own. Oh, that, that uh, rear middle turret didn't get a chance to actually fire. And that rear rear turret was popped off already. And this one's basically disabled. <laughs> that was a uh, pretty brutal first volley by the St. Augustine. St. Augustine. <laughs> some barrel damage to its forward guns here, but uh, nothing uh, it can't handle. Nothing disabling. Meanwhile, the Augustine has some holes in the hull here. Looks like a couple of guns may have been disabled. Nothing too extreme just yet, but it is burning through those materials. But the Johnny's firepower is has been significantly weakened. It has proven that it, has, it is able to win a match with a single gun, though. Oh, did this forward turret just get disabled? Seems like it did, yeah. Man, there's still four active guns on that, and the turret just doesn't work anymore. I wonder how that happened. Oh, they're now lost a bunch of guns. <laughs> Yeah, this is going as ab about as I expected it to. The Augustine is out of materials, so any damage from this point forward is permanent, but the Johnny... its weapons did not last long enough to make use of that. It has a single barrel left on one of its turrets as weaponry. Every other turret has been disabled or destroyed. And now that one barrel is gone as well. The Johnny has no weapons left, but... <clears throat> I can just imagine what the Johnny would be able to do if uh, it had reached this position with weapons available. The Augustine does not like things being this close. <laughs> And the collision slowdown isn't great, but, you know. Anyway, rather than have a, a suffer through this T-Bone collision lag, I think I may just call this in favor of the Augustin, because the Johnny has no weapons left, and there's no way it's going to repair anything. So, it has basically lost, and a lot of, you know, a lot of times in the past I would, of, <clears throat> I would not do that, because I don't want to be unfa unfair to somebody's ship, but since it's my own ship, I feel like it's, you know, it's okay for me to make that call. I don't feel like sitting here waiting t 20 minutes for the uh, battle to resolve because of the collision lag. 
taking forever, so... Let's go ahead and uh, we'll just give that round to the, to the Augustan, which is pretty much what I expected to happen, and we'll get round two underway. The only way that Johnny's going to accomplish anything is if it manages to get around the Augustan with its guns still intact. And that is not going to be an easy feat. Getting around it is difficult enough. Getting around it with the guns still active is a whole nother story. Well, hey, the rear guns survived this time, though this one did lose a barrel. And the front, but one of the front ones got disabled instead. Which is a little bit surprising to me. Like, the, uh, I thought the Johnny's turrets were more durable than that. At least from the front. From the back, yeah. I'm not surprised at all that things get disabled with a single shell, but... From the front, I thought they could take at least a hit from the Augustine's cannons. And that is not seeming to be the case. Anything direct is basically instant death. <laughs> Oh man, that's some critical damage right there, blowing off the top of the church. <laughs> huh? Johnny didn't get a gun there, but... <coughs> the Augustine will probably be able to repair that. This gun has a single barrel left. This gun is disabled. This gun is disabled. So we're down to a single barrel left on one turret again. I made the comment about the Johnny has proven to be able to win a match off a single gun, and by gun I meant fully operational turret, not single barrel. <laughs> Yeah, to be honest, I fully expected to lose this match. <laughs> like, I knew that the Johnny's hull can take the beating that the Augustine puts out <clears throat> for a pretty significant time, but the guns, the turrets, they are uh, not sturdy enough. And now the Johnny has no weapons available once again. I think all of them have been destroyed or disabled. Oh well, I learned a lot from this tournament. <clears throat> And, uh, I already have plans for improvements on the Johnny's design for the, uh, for the next one. You know, whenever it happens, eventually. It'll be a while. Next up, we've got the tank tussle, and then I don't know if I'm going to do another battleship roll after that, or if I'm going to do something else. I don't know. We'll see what happens. That's months and months away. 
See, now, if the Chani had reached here with a gun still alive, like, that would be a very critical, pivotal moment. <laughs> Augustine's like, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, shit, oh, shit. <laughs> Can't let him get around my back. And then there's the collision lag. But anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it here. Give the Augustine its win, let it move on, because Johnny, uh. The, the Johnny, uh. has no way of winning. And even if it does manage to, like, squeak by a win by some. like, doing something like sitting on the Augustine until it, you know, DQs from being too low or something crazy like that it's like even if it did manage to do that twice it's kind of not really how I want to win so I am going to uh, to end the battle here and uh, give this match to the Augustine it it, uh, it earned it it will be moving on into the grand finals so yeah the first round of the grand finals will be tomorrow uh, thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the battlefield